So if you are going to Paris, France and only have three days to visit the city and you are wondering what is the itinerary might look like, watch this video so that you can get an idea of what you can actually do and see in Paris in just three short days. We took this trip earlier in the year for Valentine's Day weekend and we really enjoyed it. So come along with us as we show you how you can also do it. In order for this itinerary to work, you will need to leave the US either on a Wednesday evening and stay in Paris until Sunday morning or you can plan Thursday and return first thing Monday. Our journey started on Thursday where we flew from our hometown and connected to New York JFK. We explored the lounge in New York and then we were on our way to Paris. The full video of our journey travel on American Airlines Business Class is on our channel and I will link it here. Anyways, we would like to welcome newcomers to our channel. We are the Ponsos Adventures and here on our channel, we provide you with flights and hotel reviews. In addition, travel tips so that you can travel safe and maximize your trip. If this type of content interests you, consider subscribing. Just landed, we're now here in Paris. Gonna go and grab our transportation and head to the hotel. We had a wonderful flight to Paris and landed early around 6.30 a.m. From there, we went to catch our transportation to the hotel. There are multiple ways to get to the city of Paris from Charles de Gaulle Airport, such as taxi, Uber, bus, trains, and of course, renting a car. We have rented a car before in Paris and it was not a great experience, to be honest, driving here. So, for this trip, we elected to use the public transportation available. It took us one hour from the airport to our hotel, where we'll be staying. We got our tickets, now on to our way to catch the train to Paris. The second time I'm, I came to Paris and I'm not driving. We stayed at the Renaissance Hotel in Paris, La Défense. This is just a short 15 minute train ride from the hotel to all the Paris attractions. Also, it is cost effective if you are into saving money. We also have reviewed this hotel and I will link it here if you want to see the full hotel look. When we arrived at the hotel, the first thing that we did was to take advantage of the breakfast offered here since it was included with our room because of our status. After breakfast, we're on our way to do our daily planning activities. Now the recommendation is to reserve in advance for your activities and purchase your tickets online. This will save you time spent waiting in lines. So for our first activities of the day was the Eiffel Tower. Because we were able to pre-book our tickets, the line were non-existent. We also purchased a ticket to go all the way to the top level. So right now we are at the Eiffel Tower. We just went through the security and now we're about to go actually to the elevator. Uh, and take the elevator all the way to the top. So as you can see here, look, we're right on the bottom of it. So this is actually gonna be our fourth time going to the top, but the last time we actually went to the top, I think it was 2016. So it's been a while, it's been a long time. So one thing you wanna do is come in earlier because look at that line, see that line just to get to the actual elevator. So it takes time, so make sure you give yourself enough time. But right now we are right underneath it. You can see it's up there. Now, if you've been following us on Instagram, you have seen our stories of going on skylines of multiple countries that we have visited, such as in the US, in Seattle, Washington, Tokyo, Kuala Lumpur, Shanghai, Dubai, and many more. When places have multiple levels on their sky towers, we're always hesitant on whether or not we want to purchase the tickets all the way to the top. But we're always finding ourselves doing that. If you want to save money, the first level is always fine. The views are no different. It is just less crowded. But if you're up for the experience, by all means, do it. So right now we're on the second floor of the Eiffel Tower and you can see the city over there. So.
so we're like now up here on the summit and I think the views are great you can see the city but I think it's hard to take pictures but also I think to enjoy the Eiffel Tower you actually want to be from the bottom to see it top so you, I don't know um, but if you still want to be able to see the summit you can come here and do that and the cost for that I think is 28 euros per person If you are going to visit Eiffel Tower, we recommend at least two to three hours spent here, unless you are going for pictures, which will say one hour. One cool spot that we found in Paris for a great Eiffel Tower picture is here. Be mindful that because it is an Instagram photo spot, there will be a lot of people going there too. So the recommendation is to go early in the morning while there is not a lot of people touring and you can have a street to yourself. We're now here, we just finished having the views there, taking pictures, uh, and now we're gonna be going to find some food finally and get something because we're hungry right now. So after the first part visit in Paris, we got hungry and wanted to also experience the Parisian food. Therefore, we decided to go to Café de Flore. Keep in mind, this is a very popular restaurant and it can get busy and the lines can be long. After enjoying our croissant and coffee, we took a walk to Jardin de Luxembourg. This is a great place to stroll and unwind during the trip. Exploring here should be no more than one hour. It is also a great place to have a picnic with your significant other, creating a romantic time in Paris. So we just finished visiting the Jardin de Luxembourg or the Garden of Luxembourg. Um, so, and now we're gonna head over to Champs-Élysées. Shortly after, we made our way to Champs-Élysées and Arc de Triomphe. Since it was a bit of a walk, we decided to take the train. In Paris, our goal was to walk and use public transportation as much as possible. We arrived there and to be honest, no matter how many times we have been to Paris, this place is always a must for us to go check out. Here you have high-end shopping stores where you can splurge if you have extra cash to burn. I am not a brand type girl, but let me tell you, it was tempting. So if you are going to shop in this area, I will allocate anywhere between one to two hours to really enjoy the views and the shopping experience. So right now we are in Champs-Élysées, just walking around visiting, and you can see there that you have the Arc de Triomphe, and now we're gonna just walk around and check out this place and then maybe go to the Apple store. The last thing we did before returning to our hotel and wrap up at their one in Paris was visit this cool Apple store. If you're ever in Paris and are looking for a place to just relax while enjoying all the Apple devices, check this place out. So this looks like a mansion or a house, but this is actually an Apple building. It's owned by Apple. So it always amazes me every time I come here to visit this place, how huge it is. End of the day with the meal at our hotel and that wraps up day one. We're having dinner, this chicken, we order from Uber Eats because it's nighttime already. We got chicken, we got rice, some sweet potato, plantain, and that's how you enjoy your meal. Good morning. This is day two. Being here in Paris already. We gotta go visit the Louvre today and then go to other places. There's the lady, get ready. For day two, we also had a lot in the books. The first thing in order is the breakfast at our hotel. Then we started by exploring the area of our hotel, which is called La Défense. This area is really cool and it's a newer area of Paris with skyscraper and there's a lot to do here. So this area is called La Défense. And you can see, it's like the newer area of Paris. This is the new Arc de Triomphe. And then you have all this newer buildings. 
area all the way behind and there's more in that area of Paris so this is a different side of Paris that you don't see because people just go to the main area there's the old area of Paris taking the train to our destination we took the train and made our way to Louvre we pre-booked our tickets for here as well and that allowed us to skip the lines We're now here in Louvre. I'm gonna go be visiting this and going there right now. This place is massive. Don't let it fool you on how massive it is when you're just looking at the pyramids that sticks out outside of it. This museum contains a lot of history, both French and global. There's controversy on some of the items that are displayed here on whether or not they belong there or should be returned to their country of origin. But regardless, you get to enjoy all that. So when we talk about Mona Lisa, we always think that the picture is so big, you know, like it's a huge frame, like similar to this one here, but it's not. I'm gonna show you how it actually looks like. Here it is also the place where the Mona Lisa picture is located. But don't be surprised at how small it really looks. You can tell that you have arrived at the section of Mona Lisa because that is where most people will be. It is actually crowded in lines to get to the front to take the pictures can be ours. So plan accordingly. So yep, here, there it is, the picture right behind me. And this is what everybody comes here to see. We have been to this museum previously and we have not yet seen the entire place. So plan from anywhere between three to four hours to see most of the attraction at this museum. If you want to see a whole lot more, it can be a whole day activity. We stopped quickly for coffee at McDonald's, located on the ground floor, and then headed to La Favorite restaurant. This was also one of our favorite places for chocolate and croissant. What is that? It's called Passionista. So it's passion fruit. And it's really good. Really good. We got pizza as well. And chocolate and croissant. We made our way to visit the Notre Dame church, but it was still being fixed. So we decided to head back towards Eiffel Tower, again to take photos at the famous spot. So right now we're right in front of the church, Notre Dame, that was burned a few years ago. And it's going through renovations right now, but the traffic's still a lot of people here visiting it, as you can see there still crowded with a lot of uh, people so but it's one of the destinations for you to see here in Paris and then look at the bridge behind there it's very beautiful just like my wife <laughs> we chose scooters as the method of our transportation one caution is when doing this you should rent two scooters because if you get caught by the police as we did you can get fined really steep as you can see Instagram is not always reality there are a lot of people there at that picture spot and we managed to grab some photos and videos for our Instagram Reels. This is a perfect segue to ask for you to also follow us on IG as we are trying to reach 1,000 friends. If you're already not following us there, you should as we update frequently on our travel schedule activities. We explored a bit of Eiffel Tower area before making our way to Montmartre. Here is where Sacre Coeur, Maison Rose, and Moulin Rouge are located. We explore this area and admire the great views that Paris has to offer and enjoy great savoring sweets before making our way back to our hotel and calling a night and wrapping up day two of our trip. How's that crap? Thank you. 
This is our last day of this quick weekend trip to Paris. Because of that, we took it slow, but we cannot skip on our breakfast. So this is what we did first. When in Paris, right? Initially, we planned to take the train to Versailles, but ended up deciding last minute to skip that altogether. So instead, we decided to go to Champs-Élysées and do some small shopping and get some souvenirs to bring home. Talks to her parents. I'm looking at views. Just amazing. Oh no, left hand, left hand. And just enjoying the lake right now. And then the last day here yeah. in Paris, and then tomorrow we'll go back home. Happy Valentine's. After that, we decided to take a stroll at the river while enjoying the views of Paris for one last time, as we made the decision to not go back in Paris for at least three to four years. This was our 11th time in that city in the last 15 years of us being together. So it was time that we called it quits. Anyways, we enjoy our slow day and wanted to check out some of the coffee shops that are near there. But they were too crowded and the lines were long. So we skipped that and made our way back to La Defense to relax. Before relaxing, we grabbed Baba Tea. For dinner last night in Paris. Oui, oui, merci. What she's wearing. Killing it. Killing it. After much needed rest time, we're on our way to our last activity for this trip, a Valentine's Day dinner. This restaurant was located near the Apple Tower. Again, it was a seafood steakhouse place. We enjoy every single minute here. This wrap up our final relaxing day in Paris. Obrigado. Stephanie's about to chop this thing up. Right, babe? Yes. Favorite thing is seafood. In the morning, it was time for us to head back home. We caught an early flight so that we can be home by 3 p.m. We made our way back to the airport and as we do that, here's our final thoughts. This was no doubt a great trip to take. It allowed us to bond and just spend quality time together. The cost for us, it was not that much. We leveraged points to book our flight to Paris and to get upgrades on our flight back home. The total cost for this trip for flights were $700 
for two tickets flying business class round trip. In addition, we used points for the three nights at the hotel costing us $0 for that. Transportation was around $100 as it included train from and to the airport. Meals for three days was around $200. Activities such as Eiffel Tower Louvre was $80 for two of us. Shopping and miscellaneous was another $300, costing us a grand total of $1,380 for the three days there. Will we ever do this type of trip again? Not sure. Maybe to go to New York City, which might cost us around the same price, but it is closer. Do we recommend that you do it? Absolutely, if you have the money to spare. With proper planning, this can happen. Anyways, we hope that you enjoyed this format of our travel adventure, and if you did, don't forget to smack the like button. We also have the full video of our return from Paris to Miami on our channel, you can check it out as well. If you're not a subscriber or not following us on other major platforms, consider subscribing and follow us on IG, Facebook, TikTok, and Threads. Thank you for watching and we will see you on the next video.